morning lovers so today is the day of my test i did my learning i'm very i don't believe in myself that much but um i don't know what else i could do i did learn i did do all the mathematic equations i did i don't know i have been non-stop like studying but i guess that the feeling isn't there because i just lack a little confidence i'm lacking a bit of confidence in what i can do if we're talking about like academic stuff um but yeah it is how it is i did learn so if i don't pass this test i don't know i can be mad at myself because i did everything in my power to study well and prepare for this test so i am having my breakfast shake it's right here after i had this test i am going to walk all over campus when i went to campus um i wasn't able to do that um i could walk but i was not very mobile so i I didn't like walking, I didn't like going to campus and stuff like that. So I am a little bit nervous, like I'm always nervous when I am at, at school. So yeah, I think it has to do with all the bullying I went through when I was younger. So it is hard for me to go to school, to the place uh, with all people my age, well not my age, I'm a little bit older of course. But that's my plan for today and uh, I'm going to take you with me and yeah, let's hope for the best. So bye lemons. Hey Lemon, so what I also wanted to show you is um, the effect of stress on my face because as you can see I did pick my face a lot these past two weeks, especially this last week. So just wanted to show you that I hope it will heal soon after I had this test and um, I have to leave in 40 minutes so I am going to uh, practice with those mathematical uh, equations one more time. After that I'm going to change and um, brush my hair, comb my teeth, uh, brush my hair and comb my teeth. I mean comb my hair and brush my teeth, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah that's what I'm going to do and I just want to say goodbye guys and please wish me luck. Hey guys, so my family has grown yet again, so my cats are very excited, and why is that? They like the new member of my family, which is this cute little mouse. So I was smoking a cigarette on my balcony and then I saw this cat. I do have a history with that cat. I once found that cat and uh, someone um, did drive over that cat. So he had a lot of blood and stuff, so I took him in and then I found his owner and then the owner handled it from there. But I saw that cat playing with his mouse and I saw that the mouse was exhausted and he was just um, chasing after it and then grabbing it and then starting it all over again. So I was like, I can't stand it. So I went downstairs, I petted the cat and then um, I stole this uh, playful toy from him. As you can see the mouse, he looks wet but he's alright. I have checked him for blood and stuff, he's just very scared so he's breathing very heavily. Uh, but I have this test so I'm going to just make a quick little room for him. I am going to put some holes in the top, some tissue paper, then he can lick himself clean and then some of the cat food for him to eat. And when I'm home tonight, um, I will release him, but I just want to give him a chance to just eat a little bit, rest up, dry up, and um, I hope he is going to find his family and stuff. So I'm going to put on a little vest because it is a little bit cold. Uh, so yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm first going to the store so that I can pick up some um, bread for just eating in the car <laughs> on my way to school. So bye guys, wish me luck. Okay guys, wish me luck. Okay guys, so I'm sitting right here, wish me luck. And um, yeah. Hey guys, so I am just done with my test. I am now going to walk from the building where I had my test to the tram station because I wasn't able to walk that far when I was last here. So I'm very curious how I'm going to do um, walking over to the tram stop. So I will go for a walk um, to sort of say goodbye. The test, I think it went pretty well. I think I will pass this test, so that's good. And um, yeah. Okay guys, so here's my university. And then I had to walk like across this path and then over to that big crossing right there and then the tram stops right there. I had a lot of trouble with walking that distance, so let's see how I do now. I just walked to the tram stop and I remember that when I would do this, when I was like somewhere between 400 and 440, um, I would be like gasping for air and like trouble with breathing and I would get into the tram and then be all sweaty and now I'm just here like, okay, what's next? I am glad that I did this and I'm going to walk all over campus right now and then I'm going to leave. 
my first day at the university, this is where I arrived. I had no experience with like traveling by tram, traveling by uh, the underground sub. This tram would take me to a central station in Rotterdam. There are many, many, many shorter routes, but I didn't know them back then. Those were big changes for me, like everything at once was very overwhelming at the time. But um, yeah, look at me now. This is the lower part of the university. These stairs were a hell to me when I was here before, like two years ago. And I don't think I have been on this bridge ever before, so that's new. That's the building where I um, most of the time used to have class. And sometimes we would have other classes and then I would have to walk over from that building uh, between those buildings. And then I had to go down these stairs and then walk along that path. And then I had to walk up here. And then I had to like class like right here and that would be a real nightmare for me because I knew that it was so hard for me to walk that distance. Now that I walk here I'm not tired at all. I'm very happy that I'm doing this right now. I also sometimes had like classes in this building here and I always would take like the elevator, never the stairs. So when the elevators were broken, that happened a few times, I was like how the hell am I going to do this? I was just, I didn't know. and. I was very panicked by the thought of just having to go up all those stairs. I did it eventually with a lot of, lot of time and um, all sweaty sitting in class. Being back here does bring back a lot of memories. Um, so, yeah. so that's the other building where I talked about. Sometimes I had class there and then I had to walk over. I also remember that I just hated, I hated this area because there were students everywhere and I was like, I felt anxious, I felt insecure, I felt unsafe, I felt, ugh, it was just the most horrible thing ever. I think, now I look back, that maybe it was even traumatizing for me to just walk here and just feeling this way, so yeah. Okay, so what I do notice is that I see lots of people like going to restaurants and stuff like that because there are a lot around here on campus and I'm noticing that I still don't like the idea of that so I think this place has just too much associations with negative things for me and uh, yeah, I am just glad that I can be out of this place and that I'm done with it, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you how I felt about it. I remember that I walked from the bus stop over to that building, well that was the plan, and then I stopped here and I had to sit down because I was so tired. I wasn't able to walk any further, so that's like bizarre. So the last thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk from this fountain back to the bus stop and see how I feel then, and after that I'm going home. And I would hate like this building too because all the windows are from glass and people would stare at me or well I would have the feeling they would stare. I didn't like that but um yeah so they are busy with constructions right here. This is also the route I would take. I would go from that big building through this passage you see here then I would walk down this hill walk down then cross over there and then there the building it's behind there and then there you have the food plaza. I've never been inside I always dreaded the place. I was always too scared to go there. There you have that slope that I just walked up. And then if you look here, you can see like this big area. And then in the back behind there, you can see that bus. That's the bus stop. That is the bus stop where I would walk over to. Right now, I don't feel exhausted. I don't am particularly sweaty or something. I would dread walking over to this place. It took a lot out of me. Um, so yeah, it was quite a big walk because I went from over there, over the crossing path. And then all the way up to here and then I had to walk to that building right there that's a library the big square building with all the vertical stripes it is quite a big walk especially for someone that weighs around 400 to 440 pounds um, yeah by bus stop I hope I'll never have to see you again I am standing in front of the food plaza at my school. I've never walked in there. I was always too scared because it's a place with a lot of food. I'm very ashamed for myself around food and other persons because I have this feeling that they are like judging me like super hard. I'm going to try to walk around in there and maybe I will even succeed in eating something there or drinking something there. So yeah, wish me luck and uh, I'm scared. So right there and I'm going in. So yeah. 
So right now I am inside this uh, food plaza. I have even ordered some noodles. I've never had noodles. So yeah, this will be a double new experience for me. So I'm very excited, very happy I've done this and it's not as scared as I thought. So yeah, but a big step for me, big step. Oh, and by the way, I am sweaty right now. So don't judge, <laughs> I did a lot of walking. Okay guys, so this is what the noodles look like. These are little fried onions on top and um, yeah, I'm very curious. So let's eat these, they look delicious. I have picked a fork because I don't want to get embarrassed with sticks, so yeah. Okay, so first bite of me trying these noodles. I've never had noodles before, so bon appetit. Spicy sauce, I like that. I like spice. Yeah, I like it so far. Piece of chicken. Mm. I'm so glad I did this. But I'm treating myself on something that is somewhat healthy I think so okay so big bite of noodles I really do like them I'm like why haven't I been here before why didn't I taste noodles ever before but um yeah <laughs> mm. big piece of chicken Yum. Steve kijk eens <laughs> So right now I'm in this house because my best friend is going to live here. My sister's also here, you just saw her probably. I'm going to... <laughs> I have filmed that so I'm probably going to edit that in. But um, just listen to the acoustics because I like them. <sighs> okay. The Arizona sky is burning in your eyes. You look at me and babe I wanna catch on fire. It's buried in my soul Like California gold You found a light in me that I couldn't find Ooh. I can't do my thoughts <laughs> I'll always remember I just need to touch it with a stamping that got me Hey guys, so I just walked into the store and then I saw this little basket lying there At first I read like loner, but then I looked and it says Lenore, which is a brand to wash your clothes with. He doesn't want to focus on your face. Are you awkward? Okay. They sell donuts right here and they're different ones than the ones they sell at my store, so I want them, but I'm not going to get them. But the t-shirt says I have to... Just an easy dinner. I did already eat those noodles, so um, for dinner now I am only having some vegetables and then some of those potato fries you saw me eat yesterday um, these are not that high in calories yeah this will be my dinner i made a little hole for our friend and right now i'm going to set him or her free and run doesn't want to get out it's just looking there like what is this i don't trust it i don't trust it you can go little one you can go I don't think he's going to run to this hole, but he just went straight for the, the bushes, but he's free, so yeah. <laughs>